Hello, my name is Wayne Douglas Green. I was drafted into the Army in 1967. I spent three years in Vietnam as a cook and a baker and driving a ration truck. I worked for the 864th Engineer Battalion Construction. Uh, the engineers went out, 13 of them and one cook, that was me, and I had a tent. Had all the rations in it, burned off some jungle with napalm and made a compound and later developed into a large company area for a motor pool, all the heavy earth uh, moving equipment. And uh, I worked in the mess hall, but I, I like to stay with the engineers. Those were tough guys. I'd sneak out at night into the motor pool and drive some of the equipment when nobody was looking. Well, this little video shows the uh, unit crest, um, uh, the um, arm patch, shows a, a truck with pacemakers written on the front. And you can find out all the history of this stuff online. Just type up 864th Engineers on Facebook and it'll come up. And here's a picture I took today on QL1 of our compound the 864th Engineer Battalion. And there you can see the sign is where our sign in Unit Crest was. It's a new sign, it's a Vietnamese sign, and the translation is Ministry of Health, Institute of Vaccines and Medical Biochemistry, Suyao Facility. And um, we made the road off of QL1 up Oh, several hundred yards, and then there's a little rise, a hill, and that's uh, where we had our compound. Off behind the tree in the middle, I remember a natural water spring, and the soldiers would come down there if they wanted to get really clean, because the uh, so-called potable water we used, even that went to the mess hall, wasn't as squeaky clean as the natural spring water. But I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video I made. Not much to it, but I had fun making it. Uh, God bless all of you guys. I really appreciate the, the real grunts, the guys that suffered the most out in the field for days, weeks on end. No baths, bugs, leeches, scorching sun, sea rations, the whole bit, and not knowing if you'd make it home. Well, I'm glad you guys did. And my heart goes out to the families of those that didn't. That's it for now. I'll check in with you guys again some other time.